Enabling Office 365 Services, Exam Ref 70-347. Objective 1.4, Plan for Office Clients. Just installing Outlook from the Office 365 portal doesn't configure it with the person's Office uh, 365 username and password. This objective deals with configuring Outlook and Skype for business clients to use Office 365 accounts. It also deals with the Office web apps known as Office Online and the differences between the uh, Click to Run and MSI deployment formats. This objective covers the following topics. Uh, Outlook client, a Skype for business online client, Office on demand, Office web apps, and uh, Click to Run versus MSI. So when you uh, run Outlook for the first time for a user that has a subscription to Office 365, uh, just as any other configuration of uh, Outlook, uh, the user is required to enter you know, the, the name, the email address, username and password, and the uh, user will be configured for, um, uh, for Outlook in Office 365. The same thing happens with uh, Skype for Business. So the Sky for Business Online, which was previously known as Link Online Client, allows users to connect to Sky for Business Online to host or join meetings and instant message uh, or other uh, Sky for Business Online users. Uh, to connect to Sky for Business Online, the user must enter the Office 365 email address, uh, which is shown here in the picture. So normally the email address that it, your normal e email address the SMTP email address that you use normally is also used for the um, uh, Skype or SIP address uh, however um, I have seen cases in which for whatever reason the uh, SIP address the the Skype uh, for business address is different than the person's email address and that creates confusion because um, uh, Skype will automatically be uh, will take the email address of the user and if that email address is different then you need to manually uh, enter that email address here. Office On Demand Office On Demand was a feature of Office 365 Pro Plus that allowed users to download and temporarily install Office desktop applications. This installation did not count towards the typical five installation activation limit for Office uh, for each Office 365 user. The idea of Office on Demand was to allow users to access the most recent version of Office applications when the latest version of Office was not available. Uh, Office on Demand applications were launched from a web browser after a special add-on was installed. The Office on Demand applications were streamed from Microsoft servers um, on the internet and could only be used on computers that had an internet connection. Uh, while well, the browser was used to launch the application, the application ran in a manner similar to the way that a locally installed application ran and was not like using Office web apps. Uh, Office On Demand was retired by Microsoft on November 2014. So when a user who has a, a subscription log into to Office 365, uh, you are presented with this application. Obviously, uh, most likely if you, if you are on your own computer you do have this application although some companies uh, have let's say I've seen cases in which a company has an E1 license and E1 does not allow the uh, install of application and you can also use you can only use the uh, this uh, office applications online or web apps um, you could also log in with Office 365 on a friend's computer or a public computer uh, where there's no office install and again so you can launch any of these applications online and um, you know view and edit your documents especially documents that are stored on either SharePoint on Office 365 or OneDrive. Click to Run versus MSI. Uh, Click to Run and MSI are two different formats through which office applications can be distributed to users uh, Click to Run offers the following features: uh, a streaming installation. 
A streaming installation allows an application to be run before installation has completed. So when the installation of an application is streamed, the first part of the application uh, installed provides the minimum functionality necessary to get the application running. This allows the user to begin working with the application while installation completes. Uh, a streamed servicing. Uh, the click to run functionality of Office 365 Pro Plus means that updates are included in the installation rather than installing Office in a traditional manner and then running a Windows update um, check to locate and install any relevant updates. Relevant updates are already uh, included within the click to run installation files. Uh, a slip stream service means that end users have the most secure and up-to-date version of the application immediately rather than having to wait for the uh, post-deployment update cycle to complete. Uh, user-based licensing. So user-based licensing means that the Office 365 Pro Plus license is associated with the user 365 account, not the computer that the user is assigned on to. Uh, depending on the type of license associated with the user and the tenancy, the user is able to install Office 365 Pro Plus on up to five different computers. It is also possible to remove licenses from computers that have had Office 365 Pro Plus installed on them on an earlier point in time. Uh, retail activation basically means that Office 365 Pro Plus is activated using the retail rather than the license methods. Activation occurs over the internet. Uh, as we talked uh, earlier on um, other objectives, that means that the computer must connect to the internet every 30 days. Otherwise, Office Pro Plus will enter what is called reduced functionality mode. Uh, a SKU level application suite. Uh, unless an administrator configures an appropriate configuration file, Office 365 Pro Plus install all products in the suite. Um, this is different than the traditional install of Office in which at the moment of installation you can choose what products you want to install. Um, in, in Office 365 you cannot do that unless you use the Office deployment tool. Uh, some scenarios limitations you cannot use Office 365 Pro Plus with the remote desktop services, uh, Windows to go, or on networks that do not have a connection to the internet. MSI files are a method through which applications are packaged. MSI files allow organizations, IT departments to automate the deployment uh, applications such as Office using tools such as Microsoft Intune and System Center 2012 R2 uh, Configuration Manager. MSI files are appropriate for organizations that have a managed desktop environment and are less suitable for the types of bring your own device scenarios in which the click to run products such as Office 365 Pro Plus are suitable. Uh, MSI files uh, offer uh, the following features. Uh, well, the classic installations that we just talked about, um, the uh, layer servicing basically mean that MSI files represent the application at the time uh, uh, that it, it was packaged as an MSI file, and then basically after you install the application, then you need to install the updates. Um, other uh, differences or characteristics of MSI is the value licensing method um, in which a company may have a licensing volume and, and then you use a product key with, um, uh, with, with the versions of Office that you have, uh, whether that is 2013 or 2016. Uh, volume activation basically work in the same manner. Uh, selective applications installation, what we just talked about, in which at uh, the uh, time of deployment you can choose, you know, what applications to install. Well, there are differences between the Click to Run Office 365 Pro Plus and MSI-based Office 2013. There are also certain similarities. For example, uh, both can be configured through group policy. Uh, both provide telemetry visible through the telemetry dashboard and extensions designed for the Office 2013 version of a product will work with the Office 365 version of that product. 
Objective summary. Outlook can be configured by providing a user's Office 365 username, which also function as their email address and password. Uh, Sky for Business Online can be configured by providing a user's Office 365 username, which also functions as the email address and password. Uh, Office on Demand allowed users to run temporary copies of Office launched through a special browser add-in. Office on Demand was discontinued by Microsoft in November 2014. Uh, Office Web Apps, also known as Office Online, provides browser-based versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. These versions provide only basic functionality. The click-to-run format has limitations that make it unsuitable for organizations that need to use value licensing or do not allow client computers to connect to the Internet. Objective review. In which of the following scenarios are you unable to deploy Office 365 Pro Plus through the click to run? Uh, a. Installation on a Windows Server 2012 or 2 remote desktop services server. Uh, that's not possible. Installation on the Windows to go USB device is not possible either. And on computers located or network isolated from the internet. Uh, two, which of the following applications are available as Office Web Apps? Uh, of this application, Word and PowerPoint are available. Visio and InfoPath are not available uh, as Office Web Apps. Question number three, which of the following statements about Office 365 Pro Plus is true? Um, B, uh, supports uh, a streamed servicing and D, uh, applications can be run before installation uh, completes.